Hello, everybody. I am doing a group reading. Okay, take what applies to you. All right. Now, when I do this reading, let's say some of you were not aware of the things that was going on with you, around you, and to you as well. Okay, it's like you were just blinded. All right, you were blinded. You were not paying attention to your intuition. And it's like you were not seeing things clearly as well. All right, and you wasn't getting no clarity on the things that you needed, like understanding at all. You weren't getting it. All right, even when it came down to love, it's like you weren't ready, like the door was open, but you weren't receiving anything out of this love relationship. Um, even when it came down to you and your heart, like you just wanted it, okay? And you were not getting it. Even those of you, some of you that were in a relationship and wanted a relationship, wanted love, like you really weren't getting what you wanted when it came down to love at all, okay? And it's almost to the point to where you were not really ready, okay? Not only just you, but the person also. So know that you were not aware of what was going on when it came place to relationship, love, your heart as well, okay? And when all of that was going on, it's like you were not taking time for yourself, Okay, you were not taking care of yourself. You weren't doing the things that you needed to do for you. You stopped thriving. You stopped doing things, okay? And you stopped doing things with also you not taking care of yourself. You not being happy. You not getting up in the morning and doing the things that you enjoy, okay? It got to the point to where you just wasn't thriving to do your best, to be happy. It almost to the point to where you just fell down, wanted to cry, ball up as well. Because things were not working out for you. And it was like you was trying to fix the problems and it was just like they failed. You get no success out of this at all. Like, why is it always failing? Why everything is always something going on? And it's like you weren't paying attention to your intuition, especially your heart being broken as well. You weren't taking care of yourself. You're not doing the things that you need to do. Okay, and it's like you try to fix the problems and they fail. All right. And it got to the point to where you was like, no, I'm not going to risk it all. I'm not going to risk. I'm not going to sacrifice. No, I'm not going to do any of that. Why? Because there were some things that was going on that you were not aware of. Okay. And it's like you wanted to be happy. You wanted so much more. You wanted love. You wanted happiness, money. You just wanted complete happiness. And it's like it was not happening for you. Okay? It's like it wasn't even there in the midst. And not only was it not there in the midst, but it's like you, were, you weren't you were even accepting the problems, the issues. You wasn't trying to learn from the problems that you went through. Okay? Um, and some of you also just felt like you didn't have the problem. You are not the problem. All right? And sometimes you are the problem. It's like you don't be looking at things in a positive way. But it's like you're not owning your stuff. You're not getting the things that you want. Even things that was taken from you. It's like you're not getting it back. Like take back power. Take back control of your life. You also have a heart of forgiveness, like you're not forgiving. You're not letting it go at all. And it's blocking you from being happy. Mm -hmm. Like you want a fresh new start. You want to be happy. You want a do-over, okay? And some of you want to go backwards and try to fix it, but it's not happening. I don't see it being fixed. I don't even see it turning around being fixed. So it's like you have to focus, focus on you, focus on your life, take back control of your life, take back power of your life as well. And I do see you wanting to remove people from around you out of your life, negative people also, people that just be stopping your flow. Oof. Stop making every day count. When you wake up in the morning, start making every day count. Start making sure that you are happy. 
okay? Like, really, start doing that. And I do see you starting to pray as well. I do see you starting to be aware of your life right now. It's like you're going to be starting to look for miracles, looking for things to change, okay? Um, And also, do the work, okay? Do the work. Do the work. Make each day count by doing the work. Be expecting miracles to happen. And I do see you all seeing miracles happening, even to fix situations as well. Um, you are going to be paying attention to your intuition a lot, a lot, a lot more. Okay? But be gentle with yourself. Take care of yourself. Nurture yourself as well. Have compassion also, release any feelings of guilt that you have and remove it. How do you remove guilt? Know that it's just a lesson. Accept your faults. Know that there's something that you went through. Learn from it and let go and let God. You also need to start being grateful for what you already have. And start appreciating yourself and other people, even when it comes down to help, support. Also, ask God to bring peace in that situation that you have, that you are going through right now. Is things going to change? Yes, it is. Are you going to turn things around in your life? Yes. Yes. Do I see you procrastinating? Yes. Mm-hmm. Just remain positive. Okay? Remain positive at all times. And start communicating more. Okay? Clear up some communication. Speak clearly so that you can be understood. Okay, and so that you can understand some things that are going on and you will see change. You will be happy. Remain positive, okay, and pray. Pray, pray, pray. It's God to guide you and lead you on the right path so that you can be happy, okay? Yes, even when it comes down to relationships, have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation, Honestly, discuss your feelings. Talk about your feelings to one another. Talk about it. Okay? And some of you need to just start loving yourself first. Respecting yourself also. It makes you so much more attractive by you doing more for you. You being happy. Genuinely happy. But know that you do deserve love. You do deserve love as well. Okay? You guys, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.